Hello traders! Today I'm going to tell you a story about how one guy was able to earn over a million dollars with just one strategy. And besides that, I will test this strategy and try to make several thousand dollars out of just ten dollars in one trading session. Is it interesting? Then put a like right now. It will help my channel a lot. By the way, these are the winners from the last video. They received $100 each to their trading account. Do you want the same? Then look for the mystery inside this video. So let's get started. This is a Larry Williams, a professional trader who turned $10,000 into $1.1 million in just 12 months of trading, which is 11,300%. God damn! Now, if you're like me, you're thinking, how did he do that? Well, I decided to look for the answer of that specific question. Scamming in the internet for the strategy he used to get those massive gains. And look, I found something. I found the exact trading strategy he used to make those gains. And I gotta say, Larry is an absolute G for making this because it works insanely well. And I'm going to share it with you guys. Let's get straight to it. So, the strategy he used to make these gains is called the LW Volatility breakout strategy. LW for Larry Williams. Makes sense. So, this specific strategy basically forms around one specific indicator. And that indicator is the Donkey Channels indicator. To add it to your chart, go to the indicator tab and type in Donkey Channels. Click this one right here. Now, the donkey indicators by itself is nice, but in order for it to work just how we want it, we gotta change the settings. Go to the settings of the indicator and change the length to 96. Then I'm also going to go to the styles tab and change the colors of the lines to red, so they're easier to see. Also, something very important. All of these settings I'm about to tell you are for specifically the 5 minutes time frame, as this is the time frame Larry used for this specific strategy. If you're going to be using a different time frame, please do your own testing with different indicator values. So, this is what the donkey indicator looks like by itself. There are going to be three lines. This middle line, which basically acts as a mean reversion point for the market which means the main price will always be naturally attracted to this line, almost like a magnet. You can also use it to tell the momentum of the chart. So, if price is above the line, it's bullish. If price is below the line, it's bearish. Next is the upper and lower band. These bands can act as both support and resistance and often times price will hit this and reject. But we can also use them as breakout points. As if price breaks this upper band, often times price will continue to head upwards, which is exactly how Larry used it. This is a little foreshadowing, but there is a small problem with it, with this strategy. Actually, it's a pretty big problem. Let me explain it. So normally, how you use this indicator is one price breaks these upper bands. You enter along, set your stop loss right below the middle line, and set your take profit to something like a 2.1 risk to reward radio, and you get a winning trade. But if the market is consolidating like this and moving sideways, this is when we start seeing some problems with the strategy. Because when the market is consolidating, the upper and lower bands are going to be really close together, like they're here. Which means they're a lot more likely to break even from a small move that doesn't have a lot of momentum behind, which in the end 
will give you a false signal and you will lose out on this trade. So we need to find a way to stop this from happening. So we only enter in high quality trades that have a lot of momentum behind them. In order to do it, we need to add two more confirmations. So the first confirmation indicator we are going to be adding is the LWTY or the Larry Williams Large Trade Index. Go to the settings of the indicator and change the period to 25. The higher this is number, the more long-term trends it will work for. If you are looking for confirmation for shorter-term trends, a small number is better. I found 25 worked the best for the 5-minute time frame. Then change the smoothing period to 20. Then for the final indicator, add a simple volume indicator. I know. I know it's pretty boring, but this will help us a lot with avoiding false signals. Go to the settings and change the email length to 30. Then go to the style tab and enable the volume moving average and change the color to white. This volume indicator will help us identify when the market actually has momentum behind it and not just a small move. The strategy itself is pretty simple and I'm going to teach you how to do it. Then at the end, I will give you a secret trick to make it perform even better. First, make sure you're on the five minutes time frame. For a long trade, you want to do this. Step one, you want price to come up and touch the upper red line. Once that happens, the next step is you want the LWTY indicator to be green. If it is red and touch the upper band, you would not enter this trade. Then finally, you want the volume bars to be above the white line and also want them to be green, showing the market is not consolidating and there is enough volume to enter the trade. All three of these criteria need to be met in order for you to enter the trade. You would enter here. Now, the stop loss kind of depends on the setup. Usually, you will just set up your stop loss right below the middle orange line. But there are some cases where you would not do that. For instance, when the upper band and the organ line have a huge gap this, where if you did set your stop loss here, the stop loss will be huge. This is the case. You will just set up your stop loss at the recent swing low like this. Most of the time, you will be setting it right below the middle line though. Once you have set your stop loss, set your take profit at a 2 to 1 risk to reward radio. And just like that, you have a profitable trade. Let's do a short example. And then I'll give you the secret trick to make this strategy even better. First, you want the price to hit this lower band. Check the LWTY indicator and make sure it is red. Then, finally, you want the volume to be above the white line and you want the bars to be red. Enter here. Set your stop loss right about the middle line and set your take profit at 2 to 1 risk to reward radio. And just like that, you have another winning trade. Now, it is time to go over the secret trick. Another small problem I found with this strategy is when it's near a major support or resistance. For example, here all of our requirements were met. Price touched the upper band, the LWTY indicator is green, and the volume is above the line and also green. So, we enter our trade and set our normal take profit and stop loss. But if you look here, it was actually a losing trade. If we zoom out, you can see all of our criteria was met. But 
it was met right at a clear, strong resistance level. So yeah, we got all of our signals, but since this was such a strong level, price bounced here. So in order to fix this, you would go on a higher time frame like the one hour. Set all of your major support and resistance levels. Once you have them down, do not enter trades close to those major levels. So, in the trade I was talking about before, you would have just skipped this trade. Actually, what I found works really well is if price is currently breaking a resistance level. And then, all of the indicator requirements were met. This will be a great trade to enter as is there is a ton of confluence and bullish momentum in this trade. So yeah, if you pair this strategy with the basic support and resistance or even supply and demand, it works absolutely great. So let's get to practice. Using this strategy, we will increase our deposit from $10 to $10,000. We have $10 in our balance, so we bet the entire amount for 5 minutes. I open and the opening of a downward candle. Let's see the result together in 5 minutes. There are seconds left before the trade closes. Our balance already have $18. The next trade will be open on the same currency pair. I bet. $18. And our price begins to move towards the level of this channel. Let's wait until the trade closes in profit. So again, seconds before the trade closes. And we are in profit again. Let's see. Our balance is plus $33. We continue to open trades on this chart. We open a trade for the entire amount for 5 minutes. I'll be back to you very soon. There are 10 seconds left before the trade closes. And again, the trade is closed in profit. Our balance is already $61.35. Let's continue. So, we choose a new currency pair for us. Let's say it will be EURCAD. Everything is clear on our chart. We see a reversal in this price. We will open an upward trade for 5 minutes. For all the money, $61. We open with you at the opening of a new candle. It is better to open at the opening of a new candle. Because on the previous candle, the price may still go up or down. We opened. Look at the chart. The volume is good. The LWTY indicator signals that the price has reached the moving average line. And we'll now go back to the upper layer of the channel. I'll get back to closing this trade. And we are in profit again. Our balance already has $110. We are looking for the further opportunities to open a trade. So, as we see, there is an upward trend. We are keeping up with it and will now open another bullish trade on the new candle. 4, 3, 2, 1. And we open up $110. I'll get back to you when our trade is closed in profit. And our trade is closed in profit. We already have $190 in our balance. Let me remind you that we started with $10. Let's move on to a new currency pair. Let's say CHFDPY. So, we have good volume and a price that is slowly going down. Now, at the opening of a new candle, we will open an upward trade. Why? 
on the trading view website itself, our volumes are becoming smaller and smaller. It also shows us that it goes to the center of the channel. There is a small level from which the price will bounce. I'll be back to you very soon. As we can observe, the price bounced off this level well and confidently went up. Our trade is closed. We received $352 to our balance. Let's look at the chart again. Volumes have increased and the price has bounced off the middle line. We opened for increase on our entire balance. I don't advise you to do the same if you don't accelerate your deposit. But in this video, our task is to disperse the deposit. We wait 15 seconds and we open a trade with you for an increase of 5 minutes in 7, 6, 5 seconds. We open. I'll be back to you very soon. There are seconds left before the trade closes. And we're in profit again. Our balance already has $634.19. Let's look at the chart again. The price has broken through the moving average line. The volume is all red. And the potential is that the price will go lower and lower. Now, at the opening of a new candle, we will open a very straight for 5 minutes. We open with you at $634 for a call. I'll get back to you by the close of the trade. We have 3 seconds left before the trade closes. And a new candle opens. Our balance already have $1,141. Let's move at the same pace. We won't change the currency pair, but let's look at the chart. It is very important. As we see, the price is also going down. We bet $1,141 short in 15 seconds. At the opening of a new candle, we open a bearish trade on the new candle. We're opening! I'll be back to you very soon. And again, our trade is closed in profit. We have $2,054 in our balance. Let's keep accelerating our deposit. So, we have the AUDY CAD currency pair. We will open higher on the new candle. I did some good analyzing on the trading view using our three indicators. You can also use them to analyze the chart. There are seconds left before the trade closes, and you're back in profit. The balance is $3,594. Let me remind you that our goal is $10,000. Just a few trades and we are there. Let's continue. First, let's look at the trading view chart. We see that the price has begun to force and distort our channel. Therefore, we will open a bearish trade on the EUR AUDY pair. Look at the chart. We have good volume, which shows us a good move down, and LWTY which also signals a move down. And on the channel itself, we see that the price will tend as much as possible to the lower border of the channel. Let's see how this trade closes and continue. And our two trades are closed in profit. Let's open our last trade. Look at the chart. This doesn't suit us. Select a new currency pair. We will not resist the trend and the entire chart. We will open a bullish trade because 
the value of this currency pair is very large. We are waiting for the trade to close. And we see that the trade was closed in profit. We received $10,920 with a balance of $11,461.77. Our task is completely completed. I'm finishing this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will answer all of your questions. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you soon.